trying to make it all make sense. The more you know podcast. I've been reading Don Miguel Ruiz lately, and something I read last night was surrounding the true essence of happiness and how to be truly happy. He really simplified it, and he provided additional perspective that I had never thought before. So he believes happiness comes down to three things. Truth, forgiveness, and self-love. He believes if you are able to practice these three things in an authentic manner in the present moment, that's what happiness is, and that's how you'll be able to be happy throughout all present time. So let's break down each of these three elements. The first is truth. Honesty is crucial towards happiness. If you aren't able to be honest with reality, not only with yourself, but with the state of your human experience and the state of reality and people around you, you'll never be able to be happy. So this can carry all the way into justifying your actions, lying, and so much more. The basis of it is, is if you're truthful, if you're honest, and if you're honestly aware of your human experience and the outside world, you'll be able to be happy. The next element of happiness is forgiveness. It's vital to be able to forgive yourself as well as others. Nobody's perfect. And so that means that you make mistakes and those you interact with make mistakes as well. If you don't forgive yourself and you don't forgive others, you hold grudges, you have levels of resentment, and you have levels of negativity. None of these provide value to happiness or being able to be happy in the present moment. So you must be able to forgive yourself for mistakes you've made, as well as to forgive others for mistakes that they make. And understanding that you aren't going to understand and you aren't in control of how people choose to react and in, in the decisions that they make. The third element is self-love. And now these first two tie into the third. But the essence of self-love is clear. It's just loving who you are and loving your authentic self and being able to love yourself in a way where you're confidently able to exude your authentic nature in the world. So in order to love your true self, you first need to know your true self. You need to know who you are. Then from there, you need to be able to be comfortable with yourself and be comfortable with who you truly are. The essence of this comes from understanding the truth of who you are, and being able to forgive yourself and understand your true intentions and what you're trying to do. It also carries into pursuing your passions and creating a life of significance surrounding your true self. Now, when becoming aware of and becoming comfortable with your true self, there's certain practices, principles, and things to be aware of. And I've discussed in previous podcasts, such as Dr. Phil's 10 experiences, 7 decisions, and 5 people who influence your true self. Understand the value of truth and be honest in your life. Don't stray away from the truth of reality and the truth of yourself. Be able to forgive yourself and be able to forgive others. And be able to authentically live as your true self. Keeping all of this in mind and crafting a life of significance surrounding these three concepts will create a life where you're always able to be happy in the present moment. I hope this talk makes a positive impact in your life. Please subscribe to the podcast wherever you are listening or watching it, check out other episodes, leave a review, and follow us on social media at More You Know Pod. Also, please don't forget about our sweepstakes. Retweet a clip with the hashtag the more you know and new podcast from our Twitter for a chance to win a signed copy of my upcoming book The More You Know coming this fall. Tag two friends in the comments on a clip on Instagram for a chance to win a brand new copy of Dean Graziosi's Millionaire Mindset or Ed Milet's Max Out. Like us or share a clip on Facebook for a chance to win a book I have read that highly inspired me, signed by me with an inspirational message. Again, thank you for listening as we propel with podcasting through the more you know. I'm just trying to make it all make sense. The more you know podcast.